Hello bookworms, this is Jessica with the Counting the Days tag created by two booktubers, Pros and Petticoats and to readers that may concern. I was tagged a few months ago by Joe at Joe's Books and Movies. Thank you Joe for tagging me. I will leave a link down for all three channels in the description box below. Before I get into the prompts, I want to let you all know that last week I saw the movie Wicked. I really enjoyed it. It was very magical, but also the fact it was shot in 3D. And I can't wait for part two to come out sometime next year. Now I will get into the prompts. A book that excites you because of its cover. That would be Susan Wiggs, The Dog I Loved. I love any book cover with a dog on it. Because of its author. It was hard for me to pick out just one author, so I narrowed it down to three because I have a lot of favorite authors. They are Tracy Garvis Graves, Stephen King, and Jodi Picoult. They're all very talented. Because of its premise, nothing but a good time, written by Tom Bajor and Richard Beinstock, which is about 80s heavy metal music and the Sunset Strip. I like reading anything about the 80s because I grew up in the 1980s and I love heavy metal music from that era. Because of its style, Taylor Jenkins read Daisy Jones and the Six. I liked reading about this fictional band and I also like the fact that she wrote it in an interview documentary format. Because of its influence, that would be S.C. Hinton's The Outsiders. It amazes me that all these years later, people from all different walks of life, including my own, were affected by this book. Now, this affected me in a way because I got into reading and writing because of S.C. Hinton and The Outsiders. Because of its emotional weight, that would be Still Alice by Lisa Genova. From what I understand, this is about a woman that develops dementia or Alzheimer's. And it looks like it's going to be a very sad book when I read it. I might start crying. Because of its sense of humor, Waiting for the Punch by Mark Marone and Brendan McDonald. This looks like it could be very humorous. Because of its challenge or difficulty, Mine Hunter by John E. Douglas and Mark o Olshaker. John Douglas worked for the FBI as a criminal profiler. He interviewed a lot of serial killers. And I'm looking forward to reading this because it will give me some insight as to why these serial killers did the horrible acts that they did. And I would like to thank you all for watching. I'm going to tag two people, Sully Whitrock and Michael Romeo Talks Books, if they would like to do the tag. There's no pressure. And if you are interested in doing the tag, I suggest you jump in and do it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Bye, bookworms.